Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. Hello, everyone. This is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time from Claris. Now, this here is their ST15R. Comes in this box. They wanted me to test and review this light. Also can be used as a bike light. Does come with that hardware. So now let's go ahead and take a look here at the specs. You got 1200 lumens on turbo. Now if you need more time to read those go ahead and pause the screen. Otherwise we're going to open it up and see what's in. Now this is a complete kit, does come with a battery, here's the manual, multi-languages, says to read me, this here is asking you to remove the piece from the tail cap. I'm going to go ahead and rip this off. Not needing this anymore. It's actually a pretty nice little kit here actually. Comes with a diffuser. Make it a table light. You've got a lanyard and looks like one o-ring. USB charging cable and you have one bike mount now this is rubberized so these are pretty commonly used easily hook it up and over the handlebars and then the other side you use it on the light it's all rubber here and here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the light. It's compact design. Feels good. Use it as a regular flashlight or tabletop you can table stand that if you need it that's what this comes in here is the USB charging port I like this design here on the barrel it's not rough but it does go in a crossing pattern on the body might help prevent from slipping does have a tail clicky now the clip here feels heavy duty and you can remove that if you don't want that on there we'll move this over here style and design on this is nice it's got the gray bezel here on this machining and finish on this is very nice does have some heat sinking here on the body so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the smooth reflector now this is running the Cree XP 
dash L HD V6 LED. All right, so now let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you the insides. There's the piece you want to remove so you can charge it. You got a spring on the head there. got the spring down in the barrel as well but this doesn't come off it does have well greased threads there all right so now they include a 2600 milliamp 18650 this is a 10 amp cell this is protected so it should provide you plenty a good run time and power for this light and that adds a lot of value to this kit which it already comes with everything here which is actually very nice especially for the price that you'll pay for this now that we got that all back together let's go through the UI but before we go through the UI take a look at it with the diffuser on here you don't have to put that all the way on. Turn it on there. Does have your battery level indicator there. I'll go through those light outputs. And that's bright. Set that there. You got a nice table light light up a whole dining room area if you needed to nice that is rubber by the way okay so now let's go ahead and go through the UI one more time this time showing it without the diffuser kind of give you an idea on the beam the beam the way it looks like their profile looks very nice probably going to be more of a combination beam got a centralized hot spot a lot of bleeding here into the corona comes out got a pretty sharp cut off on that spill you can see there yeah I think that's going to be good combination beam now if you want to get to the special mode on any light level you can double click at any time and that is a variable speed on that flash and that looks like it's at the full light output click that one time this does have memory mode click it there turn it off you can also use this as a tactical light as well put on the highest output there now you can just pressure switch that so you can use it as a tactical light as well once you get it on the light output that you want you need it to stay on even after you half press full press that we'll leave the light on really super easy to use on this light as well all right well let's wait no further let's take this outside see how it does in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the Claris ST15R so let's go ahead and get started see how it does 35 feet that water spout 
Good battery level. Making 65 feet to that tree there. That's impressive. There it is on the fence. All right, let's go to the next level here. See how it does. See it just come alive there. There it is on the fence. Nice combination beam on this light. And it is making the tree of life, see there? 138 feet from where I'm standing. All right, let's go to the next level here, see how it does. Nice little jump. And it's making a school now, as you can see, even with their lights on. Better on that tree of life now. Faintly making a tree behind it. That's 238 feet from where I'm standing. Just making it across the park. So that's good. Tree line, fence line. All right, so let's go up to the next level here. Let's see how it does. We'll go jump there. The combination beams are my favorite. Got best to throw, nice wide spill, and the hot spot has got a little bleeding. Gives you a little bit better coverage. There it is, 238 feet now. Tree behind the tree of life here, 138 feet. And faintly making that first palm tree. Well, that's good. Not making a second one. Do it before and after here. Okay. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Very nice performance for this type of beam, of course. 1200 lumens is a lot of light. This has actually some pretty good throwing range on it. And uh, this type of beam on this is one of my favorites is the combination. And then the more it leans towards the flood would be my second. So this actually did very well out there now i like the way claris went with this also you can use it as a bike headlamp so that's pretty cool so what you're going to do is you're going to put it on here like this wrap it over now it is pretty snug but you can do it once you get it on there that holds that on there nice and tight. It does have a little bit of play in it. You can even leave the clip on there if you want it. And then now you can mount this other side onto your handlebars. You can turn this to make that work there in any direction. You want to lay it sideways. Now I like the fact that you can also lay this on its side underneath the handlebars and aim it up and down if you want. Or well, you can turn it all the way to the side and mount it on the top. 
So it's really nice that this thing comes with a lot of extras on this. Really helps out, especially for the price that you're going to pay for this light. And this is going to provide a lot of light, especially down the road if you're riding a bike. Just like a vehicle, you want a little more distance in that beam. This is definitely going to do well for you. And if you camp while you're out there, you can also use this as a diffuser and make this a table lamp, which is actually pretty cool. Put it on there as a little bugger there. And you're ready to go just like that. Alright, well I want to thank Claris for sending me this ST15R to review. Now if this kit is something you're interested in getting, I'll leave a link to their Amazon store and that gets it directly from them. And that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these Claris lights to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.